My name is Darren. My name is Sherry. We've been married for seven years. And we have a cat named Littles, and she is a cat from hell. We are basically weekend warriors, and we love motorcycle racing. We love car racing. But things at home are very much more extreme than our sports. It's OK. <laughs> she'll hiss. She'll run around. She will attack us and bite our legs. OK, OK. When Little is at her worst, both of our legs were just dripping with blood. We've been to urgent care so many times. Little is almost famous at the doctor's office. In order to deal with Littles, I had to put my safety gear on, like my protective pants and my oven mitts. We're actually afraid to have family over. It could trigger them getting bit, and I'm not having that in my house, period. If Littles cannot be fixed, I have no option but to put her down. That would kill me if to put her down. She's my little baby. She was kind of like the infant I never had, so it's creating a lot of arguments. And we are desperate. I'm Jackson. Hey. Hey. Hi, Jackson. I'm Darren. Nice to meet you. Darren, nice to meet you, too. Thanks for having me over. So, I know things have been bad. Tell me, what's going on with your cat? She's untouchable. If something triggers her, like a young kid walks in the house or a cat walks across the backyard, you better watch yourself because you might get bit. If I'm in her path or if Darren's in her path, we got a nice surprise waiting. Oh. That was her teeth marks about three months ago. Those are teeth. We both have some of those. Let's talk about your last attack. I don't even know what happened, really. I'm simply looking outside that window, and with no warning, I have four teeth in my ankle. When I walk in, and 30 seconds later, people are showing me scars like on Sherry's leg, and I find out both people have been to urgent care multiple times, I know that I'm dealing with a serious situation. And Sherry, she sinks her teeth into you. What do you do? I just left her alone. So, Actually, I tried to hide it from him. What, I didn't even want to tell him why. Why did you feel like the need to hide it? Because I didn't want him to like get mad at her and put her down. What I'm hearing right now is that euthanasia is our option. That's definitely on the table. It's creating a lot of arguments. I'm not going to fight my wife over this. I don't... Well, we do. We, I mean, we, oh, do, we do argue. Don't we get argue. Wrong. OK. Wow, when I find out that Darren is ready to put Littles to sleep, even though Sherry is completely opposed to the idea, the pressure and the stakes get higher than ever. Here's what I want to do. I want to walk around the house, and let's meet Littles. OK, let's go. sounds good. You were telling me that when people come in, especially kids, right? She immediately will hiss to the point where I'm not comfortable handling her. Usually, I'll have to put some kind of protective gear on her. Mm, protective gear. I have these motorcycle pants I wear where you I really, You wear motorcycle pants around the cat? Yeah. Like, you put I on? can show you why we just bring them out. You think you're going to get through this day without wearing motorcycle pants? Come yeah. on now. <laughs> <laughs> this is what the cat makes me do. <laughs> I'm absolutely stunned that she's resorted to this. It just tells me how far I've got to go, not with the cat, but with the humans. Now, uh, in terms of Littles, I did see her right there. So go ahead and change okay. and meet us out there. OK, go okay? we'll do that. Littles. That's, That's Littles. our Littles. So we walk into the living room, and from the look on Littles' face, I'm starting to wish I had some protective gear of my own. I'm just going to be cool for a second. OK. Hi. Hi. Shh, 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 shh. I'm just coming in. Can I just touch it? No. Ow. Whoa. She's mad. Ow. <laughs> Ow. I had to see how long it would take for Littles to stop beating me up, so I kept pushing Littles' challenge line. Now, from the outside, that may look insane. Ow. <sighs> but I had to understand the nature of her aggression. Whoa. I'm if I come back. Littles was so threatened, she started turning upside down. Now that's telling me that she is expecting attack in such an amazing way that she's exposing her hind legs. Those hind legs are the most powerful thing they have. She meant business. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ooh, 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 ooh. Are you OK? Now, no, 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 not done yet. 
Darren is about to put this cat to sleep thanks to this kind of behavior. So I've got to do something, anything, to get through to her. What do I got for you? Now, come on. Come on now. If I can get her to eat out of my hands, man, I am a happy, happy guy. I'm waiting for that one little sign. Make a choice. I'm terrified right now. Yeah. <laughs> You gotta understand what a huge moment this is for a cat like Littles. Because I approached her calmly, without fear, and without any threatening over the head gestures, she was able to trust me. Good, good, good. Now here's the interesting thing. You see how she looked out there first, before she took the food? As if to say, who's gonna take my food away from me? What goes on right here? Oh, that's where the neighbor cats come. So she'll follow the neighbor's cat from this window make her path around to our bedroom window. While she's running is when you get hit. Yeah. Yeah. So honestly, what this is, is like this racetrack of destruction, right? Absolutely. So our final stop had to be outside. OK. I mean, this backyard is wide open to intruders. Any cat can just walk through the iron fence or over the brick wall. So no wonder she's freaking out. So what happens is, when this invasion to the territory happens, kaboom, right? And then we have the racetrack. So. I'm gonna give you guys homework right now. So since we know that the cat is only coming from two places, either over or under, we're going to reinforce these two areas. The next time I come over here, I don't wanna see anyone coming over that wall. That's gonna take the threat level down 50% immediately. Part two, you're gonna build shelves coming off of the top of this tree, okay? So that means she always has that exit route. What I want them to do is to catify the entire racetrack. You start by providing a place for littles to go. That's really important. And now, we got one more exercise, okay? I'm gonna call it red light, green light. I want kids to come over here, supervised, of course, for their safety. What you're gonna do is, you're gonna give them a treat. You're gonna have the kids ring the doorbell. Green light, they walk in. Then you say red light. At red light, they drop the treat, and they walk out. She is going to learn very quickly that whoever comes in the door, A, bears gifts, but B, will not make a threatening move toward her. The red light, green light project was so important because we love having our family over, so having that work would just be a huge weight lifted off our shoulders. All right, guys, you can hang. I'm going to leave. Thank okay. you. All right. Much. It was great to meet you. you. I'm definitely worried. This homework is crucial. Lil's life's literally on the line here. Now, I gave these guys some serious homework, and I asked them to fortify the backyard, but all they did was put up air canisters, which are clearly not working. So I have no idea what I'm in for today. Now, tell me how the homework worked for you. So when we did the Red Light, Green Light project, we had the neighbor's kids come over. And by the time the third doorbell rang, she's like, I don't care who's at the door. She's yeah. like, I'm over this. Red Light, Green Light was a really important exercise. I wanted to reward Littles with food for coming to the door and not either attacking, acting, menacing, anything like that. And there was payoff. Now that means that we can cross off the front door as a source of Little's anxiety, and that's huge. But I'm still sensing apprehension from these guys. There was that sense that the solutions were pretty drastic, right? It was sort of end of life solutions. Are you still afraid of your cat? I am. That's a problem. Yes, but I could never put her down. Sherry is still terrified of her own cat. That doesn't work. If you're still scared of your cat, we got problems.